what I'd like to do is show you guys how to solve a composition of functions. So essentially what we're going to do is we're going to find f of g of x and g of f of x. And what the thing that gets most students is kind of like the notation. So if we can kind of take a step back, we're going to do a quick review. If I was given f of x equals 2x, and then I said, well, if I want to find f of 2, now let me pick a better number, let's do f of negative 3, we remember that your x, this is a function, you have an input and output value. So whatever you plug in for your fx, that's what you're going to plug into your function. So my negative 3, I'm going to put that into my function for my x. So it's going to be 2 of negative 3. So we can evaluate f of negative 3 equals a negative 6. And then now that is my output. Remember function, you have your input, your output. Whatever is in here, that's when you input into your function, and then you'll get your output. Essentially, we're doing the exact same thing with here, except now we're using two different functions. So... Let me go and do this one first. So when we have the g of f of x, it gets a lot of students confused because they don't really know what that relates to. So let me rewrite it in maybe different terms. Essentially, g of f of x is g of my function f of x. That's essentially what that stands for. Now, one time we can say is, well, what does f of x represent? Well, really, f of x in this problem represents 2x. So essentially, what I can do is g of 2x because f of x represents 2x. So really, when I'm just finding g of 2x, it's the same thing as me saying, what's g of um, negative 3? And g of negative 3 in this problem would be negative 3 plus 5. So g of negative 3 equals 2. Over here, g of 2 of x equals 2x plus 5. You gotta make sure that you plug in that 2x in for your x, just as you plugged in that negative 3 in for the x. So when I wanna find, uh, if I wanted to find f of g of x, that's gonna give me, I'm gonna plug g of x in for x, so it'll be 2 times, not x anymore, but now x plus 5. And now I can just do a quick little simple, simplify, and that becomes 2x plus 10. So the main important thing we're doing composition of functions is really try to just remember what these two notations represent. They really just represent an f of g of x. They just really plug in, plugging in this f of function into the g function, and this plugging in the g function into the f function. And then you're just using your input output values and solve for it. So that's how you solve a composition, how to solve a composition of functions.